Hey guys, back again with another video. Um, I want to start these little segments called Let's Talk About It. I think that has a cute little ring to it. Um, why is it that when girls get their nails done, they start talking with their hands? I think that's so funny. But either way, that's besides the point. Um, so on today's segment of Let's Talk About It, we are going to talk about career paths. Um, I guess I'm only bringing that up because I recently went through a little bit of a tussle with some family members and I'm starting to realize, I mean, which I knew before, but I'm starting to realize that people tend to come off like they're better than you because they've obtained some sort of degree. And what I wanna put out there to all the young people out there who are in college, who aren't in college, who are taking a gap year, whatever your situation is, don't ever let people try to belittle you because you haven't obtained a degree, because you haven't gone to college, because you decided college wasn't the path for you. Whatever your situation is, don't ever let people make you feel like you're less than because you don't have a degree or you only have one degree or, you know, life, especially in the day and age where technology is really big, certifications are really prominent, a four-year degree isn't necessarily something you need to succeed in life. And I think a lot of people in the older generation are still kind of stuck in that mindset where if you don't go and get a four year degree in something that you're basically gonna fail in life. And that's just, it's not the case. Um, I guess as you grow up, it may not, I think it, it'll kind of die out with the newer generation and how they think, but Majority of the time, when you grow up as a kid, they tell you, you need to go to school, you need to make sure you get a degree, you need to make sure you have some sort of career path, otherwise you're basically gonna fail. Uh, make sure you work hard, make sure you put in those hours, you know. And that is true to an extent, but I think we're in a time where, especially with COVID and how people had to work from home, you don't have to necessarily put in 40 hours. You don't have to necessarily work under someone for the rest of your life. You can go out there and start your own business. Now, starting your biz your own business is not as easy as social media promotes it to be. So don't take this and just go out there and be like, oh, I'm gonna start my own business. But there's just a lot more options that, than there used to be. And I think some people are stuck in that mindset that, okay, I don't want to say stuck in that nine mindset. I guess I want to say there are some people out there who, because they've obtained a degree or a certain amount of degrees, they feel like they're better than people. And just because you went to school and you were able to take some tests and pass some tests and get a piece of paper with your name on it that said you have some sort of diploma some sort of degree does not make you less than or better than anyone else you're still this because if you think about it when we take our last breath and we're no longer in our human form all that stuff that you have all those degrees all that money all those cars all the materialistic things you can't take that shit with you you can't go to your grave and <laughs> i don't know what the spiritual life is like but you can't go down to hell or go up to heaven or wherever the spiritual life is and be like, hey, I'm top ranked because I got a diploma when I was alive. Like, that's not a thing. When you die, everything, you don't, you don't get to bring that shit with you. When you die, you die. That's it. And I don't understand why people feel like because they have a bachelor's degree or they have a master's degree that they can 
talk down on people or feel like they can have some sort of opinion on how people operate in life or the choices that they make. No, I'm sorry, but that does not give you any right to have an opinion on what people's life's choices are. Not everybody has to go to school to be successful. I have plenty of, si I not siblings, <laughs> I only have, what, three siblings? I have, I know plenty of people in my life who did not go to school and get a degree and are doing so well for themselves. There are so many different avenues that you can take in this life to be in the same place as someone who went to school for 15 years, who went to school for four years, whatever it is. Having a degree or some sort of letters behind your name does not make you any different than anyone else. And I don't know why that's a concept that people can't understand. Like, okay, me personally, people that know me know I was in nursing school for an obnoxiously amount of time. Um, but in the end, I decided that nursing just wasn't the path for me. Unfortunately, it took me a long time to get to that realization which sucks, but I'm a lot happier now. I'm ch I found and chosen a career path that I identify with, that makes me genuinely happy. Obviously, when you're working, you're gonna have your days where you're like, damn, I don't really wanna go to work today, or I don't wanna do this. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect, but you at least wanna have a career that you identify with, that makes you happy, that makes you wanna wake up and go to that job and do it every day, not, go out there and obtain some sort of master's degree that you don't want to do, that you don't want to be in and be miserable for the rest of your life. I'm not going to do that. So I just want to put it out there that for if there are any young people watching, even older people, because you never know where life will take you. I just want to put it out there that you don't ever have to feel bad for the life choices you make. You don't ever have to feel bad for being that one out of your group of friends that chose to just go start working instead of going to a four-year university and spitting out $50,000 just to obtain a degree that might not even get you a job in the end. Don't ever feel bad or don't ever let anyone make you feel bad for choosing a different path than they did. When you get out of high school, there's there's so many different avenues that you can take. There's obviously the school choice. There's the trade that you can go to. There's just working. There's opening your own business. There's so many different ways for a person to create life for themselves, create independence for themselves and not struggle. There's other options out there than just school. I have a friend, one of my best friends actually, who just graduated from uh, a master's program, she, or no, is it a PhD? I don't know. She's, she has her doctorate in physical therapy. She literally just graduated, I wanna say last week. And that doesn't make me feel less than her. That doesn't make me feel like, oh shit, like what am I doing with my life? Because sometimes when you try to measure up with people or compare yourself with people or even listen to the noise, because there are people, whether it's family or friends who will try to talk down on you just because you chose a different path or are figuring things out later than the average because me personally when i went up to seattle and started school it was purely just for gymnastics purposes i wasn't really thinking about the degree obviously i was like okay i'm gonna go to college i'm gonna get a degree but i didn't really take the time to sit down and be like okay fatima what kind of things do you enjoy? What kind of job do you wanna do for the rest of your life? I grew up in a Caribbean household and those with foreign parents know 
what it's like to live in that kind of household. Now, I grew up very happy. I'm not gonna say that to say that I was unhappy or I felt like I was being forced into things, but it's kind of like an unspoken thing where you either become a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, something in the medical field, something in the legal field, because those jobs are guaranteed six figures, I guess. So I, w I went up to Seattle and I was like, okay, I started out with pharmacy, hated it, shit was boring. Then I went to, um, what would you even call that? Like trying to be a doctor. I, th I think my major was like biology or something. Um, then I found nursing because I was like, I don't want to be in school for so many years. First of all, school is miserable. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, there's some people out there that enjoy school. I'm not one of those people. I think the shit is boring. The books and writing papers and it's miserable. But you got to do what you got to do to get where you want to be. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just do nursing. I'll get this four-year degree, get out and be guaranteed a job that's going to get me paid, you know? Because we all know nurses make, they make bank, especially travel nurses or like the nurses that specialize in something. So I'm like, okay, let me just do this nursing thing. I get into it. I'm hating it. I'm failing classes. I'm not wanting to go to classes. I'm not motivated to study. The shit was miserable. And I had people that I was close to who, when I was living in the dorms at the time, who were just ecstatic. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be a nurse. This has been my lifetime dream. And I'm just like, yeah, I can't relate. <laughs> I'm like, I hate this shit. And on top of that, I was a gymnast. So it was like, I never had time and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm a Pisces. Yes, I, I'm into my zodiac signs. I don't like being constricted. I like being able to do what I wanna do, have fun. I mean, obviously life comes with stress, but like not that much stress. So I had a degree or a major that I did not like, did not identify with. And I was in a sport that just took up all my time. and. To be honest, I was not close with the people on my team. I feel like they did not like me for whatever reason. And I was a lot more shy when I was in school. So I think part of it could have been that they didn't know me, but the only person I was close to was Brittany. Shout out to her. Um, but if I didn't have her, I would have felt like an outsider. So the people that I was close with were not athletes. So you can imagine how that feels like. I'm always at practice. I'm always at competitions. Well, I didn't get to travel that much because they try to hoe me, but you know, that's for another time. Um, yeah, gymnastics in school just consisted of my entire life, which is what I was used to, but I was hoping that when I went to college, it would be a little bit different experience, but that was not the case. So the people that I was close with that I connected with who weren't athletes, so you can imagine how that feels like. They're like, hey, Fatima, we're gonna go to the beach today, especially when it's springtime and it was hot outside. Like, it was nice. Seattle was nice when it was sunny. So they'd be like, hey, Fatima, we're gonna go to the beach or we're gonna go down to Pike's Place or whatever it was. And I'd be like, oh, damn, I can't go because I practice. Oh, damn, I can't go because I have to wake up early because I have weights. Like, that was some bullshit. So I just wasn't having a good time out there. And I guess I'm kind of going on a tangent, but either way, I'm only saying that to say that when you get to college, if you do choose to go to college, make sure you take the time to figure out what you like, what you enjoy. And I never realized because all throughout middle school, high school, uh, even college, the first classes I wanted to take were art classes, were something with design, something creative. And I just, I guess I didn't pick up on that. And I think at one point I did because I was struggling in my nursing classes, having to retake stuff. And I was seeing like my fellow classmates moving on to different classes. And I'm like, damn, why am I still in the same place? And at one point I was gonna change my major to fashion design. And of course, having a Caribbean parent, you know, she's, looking out for my best interest and is telling me like, Fatima, that's not a good choice. Um, 
a lot of times you have to work your ass off to get into the fashion world and most of those people don't end up making money so being young and naive i was like you know what i got discouraged and i let it go and i was like i'm just gonna continue nursing because it's gonna get me paid and i'm gonna have a guaranteed job worst choice i could have ever made to be honest um not necessarily getting into fashion like designing like that but something down a more creative path because fast forward now that i'm 26 my end goal is to be a product designer which is fashion tech is what i want to get into and i'm so happy i'm not as stressed i mean obviously you have your stressors where you're like damn i'm 26 I'm trying to find a job. It's hard to get into tech with no tech background or even fashion with no fashion background. So some days it gets frustrating where it's like, am I ever gonna get out on the positive end of this? Like, was this the wrong choice? But at the end of the day, when I go to sleep at night, I'm satisfied with my choice, even though there are things along the way that frustrate me. Um, I'm on a tangent again. I guess I'm just talking about so much stuff. But I'm only saying that to say, don't let any family members discourage you from the path that you're taking, or even friends. Don't let anybody discourage you from the path that you're taking. Don't let anybody make you feel like you're less than because you chose a different path than them. If anything, you should feel, you should feel encouraged that that person feels threatened by the fact that you're willing to take risks in order to give yourself the happy and desired life that you're looking for. Those people that want to, it's getting kind of dark in here. Sorry guys. Um, I don't, can you see me at all? I'm trying to get this lighting without showing my mama's whole room. Um, okay, ah, oh my gosh. There's so much going on right now. Yeah, so if anything, you should feel encouraged that you took the risk to be like, you know what? I'm not happy with where I'm at. I'm gonna change this shit and get to a place that actually makes me happy. Those people more than likely don't know how to live for themselves don't know how to think for themselves, don't know how to operate without getting the opinions of others or how should I say this? A lot of times people that try to project the fact that they have a degree on you and make it seem like you haven't gotten anywhere are more than likely unhappy with themselves, are more than likely not living life to their full potential. To They're not living life for themselves. They're living life for other people. They're living life in a way that is satisfying parents or cousins or whoever it is, friends. They're living life for other people. So take that as a compliment when these people feel, if I really wanna be frank, threatened by you. Threatened by the fact that you are 100% happy with who you are and confident with who you are that you can take that leap of faith and try something new, even when it's later in life. I'm still young, don't get me wrong, but at this point, the typical life that people live, you would have had a career already, but it's okay. And everybody's life path is different. Everybody's life choices are different. That's why we're called individuals. We all have individual choices and experiences and life lessons not everybody's path is going to look the same if that was the case the world would be pretty fucking boring so i guess just to wrap it all up do what you want to do do what makes you happy every choice that you make in life make sure it has calculated risk every every choice you make in life is going to have risk but make sure it's calculated because I mean, in the end, you don't want to screw yourself over. But do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Don't let anybody try to belittle you or make it seem like you're not getting anywhere. Because that's not the case. If you truly want to get somewhere in life, you will. Once you have the perseverance and the confidence and the strength to keep pushing through, you're going to make it. So don't let anybody make you feel like you're small 
or like you haven't gotten anywhere or like you're not doing anything with your life because that's not the case. Those people more than likely are just unhappy with themselves. And maybe, maybe they will be successful, who knows? But I can damn sure guarantee you that they're gonna be unhappy. They're not gonna be as happy as you are. And I'm not saying that to be like, oh, happiness is the end goal. No, because obviously bills gotta get paid and people wanna be successful, but you don't wanna be ha successful and miserable. A lot of times those people end up going into depression or, you know, just settling for things that they don't want to do or people who they don't want to be with, whatever it is. Take it as a positive. Do what you want to do. Live your life the way you want to live it. Do what makes you happy and don't give a fuck about what people have to say. Because if you, if you do, you're going to live just as unhappy as they are. So take my advice. I'm gonna update you guys on my career path as a product designer. I'm currently networking with so many people. I'm actually trying to network with people who work for Savage X Fenty, cause that's like my dream job. I do wanna work there one day as a product designer or even a lead product designer. So I'll keep you guys updated, updated on what is going on with that, but just take my little my little advice. Live life the way you want to live it. Don't listen to anyone else. You got this. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to expand on. Um, talk more about whatever it is. Just let me know. But like always, like, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.